there's still a lot of people who believe that a Tesla can go as far as the battery allows it. Meaning, my Tesla that has a range of 400 kilometers can go as far as 400 kilometers. But the reality is even worse. If I want to do a road trip with my Tesla, I do not get the 400 kilometers. If I want to get the EPA range of 400 kilometers, I would have to drive at 80 kilometers an hour. There has to be no wind or little to no wind, and I would be getting that estimated 400 kilometers. But in reality, there's headwinds and the highway speeds are about 100 to 140 kilometers an hour. The actual range that I get in the highway is even less. So I get anywhere from 250 kilometers to a maximum of 350 kilometers. But for battery longevity and fast supercharging time, your Tesla will recommend to keep the charge rate of the battery pack from 10% to 90%. This means you'll have approximately 320 kilometers of the EPA range that is recommended for use. And as I've mentioned before, you don't get the EPA range in the highway. So I'll be getting anywhere from 170 to 270 kilometers approximately. But does that mean going on a road trip that is more than 170 to 270 kilometers long impossible in the Tesla? The answer is thankfully no. In this video, I'm going to take you guys with me on a Tesla road trip. So you will have all the answers to your questions by the end of this video. I don't wanna stay here now. Ain't gonna keep it low. If you didn't already know, there's a supercharger every 50 to 100 kilometers in the Trans Canada Highway. We start our journey today from the Tesla superchargers in Winnipeg. So you can count this as the first supercharging stop. Our second supercharger stop is approximately 200 kilometers away in Brandon, Manitoba. Traveling at highway speeds, it should take us about 2 hours to get to Brandon. I'm starting off with 90% battery life and the Tesla estimates that I'll have around 18% battery life remaining when I reach Brandon. This estimate is based on your driving habit and the Tesla expecting you to drive on the posted speed limit. But the traffic in the highway flows about 10 to 20 kilometers above the posted speed limit in the highway, so it's always safe to charge an extra 10 to 20 percent. Halfway to Brandon, you can see my expected range when I reach the Brandon supercharger turned from 18 percent to 12 percent. The great thing about Teslas are that they will always tell you if you can't make it to a supercharger. The Tesla will either ask you to slow down to make it to your destination or reroute you to the nearest supercharger if you keep on driving the same speed. At one point of the trip, I was really cutting close to 0% battery life. But I didn't really have much range anxiety as I could always slow down to get more range. Also, when I pulled up the energy charge, the Tesla estimated that I could go another 17 kilometers with my current speed and my driving habits. And I had 12 kilometers to go, so I wasn't really worried. I reached Brandon with 3% battery life remaining and plugged it in. When you reach a supercharger, the Tesla will also let you know how long you need to charge in order to make it to the next supercharger stop. Another benefit of owning a Tesla compared to other electric vehicles is that a Tesla supercharger is 3 to 5 times faster than all other non-Tesla fast chargers in the Trans-Canada Highway. Also, all the superchargers are located in convenient locations for the usual traveler. For example, the Brandon superchargers are located in a strip mall where there is Walmart, a couple of restaurants to choose from, a dollar store, a gas station, a Home Depot and a safe way. So while the Tesla was supercharging, I went ahead and got some food and water for my journey. I like to store my water under this little compartment in the trunk because it's very well insulated and keeps the water cool when it gets hot outside. The Tesla will let you know when you have enough charge to continue your trip. As you can see here, Tesla is estimating that I'll have 21% charge when I get to the next supercharger. But I left it on for a couple of minutes until it was 25% because as you can see when I got to the next supercharger, I had only 8% of battery life remaining. This supercharger is located right beside the highway. It's connected with a co-op gas station that has its own fast electric charger. As the Tesla is supercharging, you can use the restroom, get food or drinks from the co-op store. As usual, I supercharged the Tesla for an extra couple of minutes because as you can see when I reached my next supercharger in Regina, I used up 15% more than expected by the Tesla. The Tesla supercharger in Regina, Saskatchewan is located in a Canadian Tire parking lot. There's also restaurants right across the street if you want to go and grab something to eat. Sitting for straight 9 hours isn't healthy, so I try and get in some exercise while my Tesla supercharges. My final destination today is Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and my final supercharger today is going to be the Davidson Saskatchewan Supercharger. 
This supercharger is also located in a co-op gas station right beside the highway. This Tesla supercharger was the best one yet. They were nice enough to leave out a windchill washing station for Tesla owners. Even though there's a Tesla service center in Saskatoon, unfortunately they do not have a Tesla supercharger. This supercharger in Davidson, Saskatchewan is the closest supercharger to the city of Saskatoon. So I'm going to have to ignore Tesla again when it says that it's ready to continue the trip. I'll be charging for an extra 15 to 20 minutes just enough for a round trip and also enough to move around the city. I also got an Airbnb where I could plug my Tesla in overnight. If you didn't know, Tesla also comes in with a mobile charger which you can plug into any regular outlet that would do about 10 to 13 kilometers per hour. It's definitely not as fast as the Tesla superchargers, but it gave me 25% of battery life in about 12 hours. 25% converts to about 100 kilometers overnight in 12 hours. So if you were thinking about getting a Tesla and you happen to live in a house where you could plug it in and your daily driving habits are less than 100 kilometers, you could definitely get by with the charger that the Tesla comes in with. As I was done with all my work in Saskatoon and I was getting ready to head back home, I stopped by at the Tesla service center in Saskatoon. They had a few Teslas and all of them were awaiting delivery. I had enough charge to get to the Davidson supercharger but I still plugged it in for extra charge. So if you're in Saskatoon and if you're low in battery, you can always come to the Tesla service center in Saskatoon and top up. It was cool to see that they have a Model S service vehicle in Saskatoon. I was only allowed to take pictures so here's all the cool things that you can expect when you visit the Tesla service center in Saskatoon. Here's the brand new headlights for the Model 3 and the Model Y. The solar roof looked very different from all the pictures that I've seen online and the quality felt great. There's also Tesla solar in the walls as well. They have a nice waiting room where you can sit and relax and watch your Tesla being worked on. After I was done touring the Tesla service center in Saskatoon, I got back in my Tesla and started my journey towards Winnipeg. And as you can see, I got enough charge to make it to the Davidson Saskatchewan supercharger. And that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like this Tesla road trip experience. Overall, traveling with a Tesla isn't definitely the fastest way to travel. This whole journey would take you about one and a half hours to two hours more than what it would take in a gas car but it would cost three to four times less. But thanks to all of you who used my Tesla referral code to get both of us 1500 kilometers of free supercharging. So this trip was entirely free for me. Thank you for all your support. Leave a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.